Good afternoon. The sun is setting on the New Mexico horizon. I am headed to Albuquerque or Rancho Rio, I think it's called. I Wyoming's Sunday testimony was, was good. And the pastor let me have 10 minutes to share my testimony, and I did. And uh, the Holy Spirit came, and I prayed, and the church received it. And the pastor said that he thought even one gentleman was there that needed to hear what I'd said. And so I got up uh, after church, and I uh, went to Denver. And as I got to Denver, I remember some older, fond memories of the old days, Denver days. And uh, it kind of hit me as I was driving through downtown cityscape that... Uh, beautiful city. I love this city. I'm not here for work. I'm not here for fun. I'm, I'm here to experience what Jesus had to show me. What he wanted to show me in that town. And going right by it. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Um, I went to a church. They had a Sunday night worship service, and the and uh, they were friendly, and they had an interesting concept of worship. And, which I thought was really good. And they had a home church that they kind of thought that enveloped more of their body of their church. Um, I was hoping to connect with the pastor and we were supposed to meet today and that just didn't work out. I just kind of felt like maybe I wasn't supposed to. Um, I had reached out to four or five organizations through Facebook, a couple of emails and um, nothing, nothing came out. And I couldn't even meet with this one pastor that I had met at his church. And I just figured the Lord was saying, you know, it's time to go. And I picked up the phone. I called uh, Life Church in New Mexico, which I didn't even know existed. But I had kind of this paradigm shift, like maybe you should call Craig Rochelle's Life Church. And so that's what I did. and. Um, I uh, am going to meet him tomorrow morning, so I am on my way to spend the night there. And uh, he was encouraging. He said, hey, it sounds like you have a wonderful testimony. And I said, well, based on our conversation, I'm, I'm headed your way from Denver. So I left Denver. And uh, I'm in New Mexico. I'm excited to see. I'm, I'm not nearly as worried as I was on my way to... So maybe God's given me some peace that uh, is just going to take some practice of, I don't even know where I'm staying the night. So um, he thought, I, I don't know. So when I get there, I'll, I'll find a hotel. I, I thought about trying to get an Airbnb and a hotel. And, and uh, so God will provide a place for me to stay. pastor said by the church there's plenty of places to stay so uh, that's where I'm headed I think the encouragement that I needed to hear was uh, I need to redefine my my marketing slash how I approach the churches with, uh, with what I'm going to present and uh, I was kind of just praying over how do I write a letter of introduction Again, uh, my, my friend John said, just ask the Holy Spirit to give you the words. It's not too overpowering and yet humble. Um, and he wanted me to kind of establish that uh, there's a lot more to the message than just the one area. So, anyhow, wish me luck in New Mexico.